Hey, what's up everybody? It's Meredith Strick with Spell Training and it's Coach Gabby. And today we have an awesome video about fundamental movement patterns. So this is about squatting, hip hinge, pulling, pushing, all the things that we do every single day in every movement that we make, but we also focus on our workouts with them too. So what we're gonna do is walk you through some of these fundamental movement patterns, how to do them correctly, and some examples of things every single day that you use these with and how to make sure that you stay safe, strong, and happy with your life and how you move. So here we go, you guys know it. I'm gonna walk through Gabby and all of these and make sure you comment below any questions that you have because I'm gonna be walking through all of these. I wanna hear how you do it too. So make sure you guys are following along. Let's do it. First things first is the squat. So everybody knows the squat, they're like yay, squat. Right, doesn't do anything unless you're really thinking about it. Think about the squat as chest up, shoulders back, feet about shoulder width apart, and you wanna make sure that when you're squatting down, core stays in tight and you start from the ground up. So you really ground down, feel like you've got posts in your, in your heels, straight down, tighten up your butt, and as you come down, you're pulling your belly button in towards your spine. So go ahead and squat down, See how she pulls her belly button in towards her spine? Good. Now, if she was not as flexible or strong, she might go forward with her back or lean like this. So here, you're gonna put a lot of pressure on your lower back. If you're doing this, you're going down too low and you're not quite ready yet, what you need to do is just stand up a little bit and maybe just come to right here. The most important thing as a squat is that beginning movement of just tightening. You've gotta tighten and ground down through your heels and really pull your belly button in towards your chest, closing down that rib cage. So if you're going to grab something off the ground, straight leg is what's gonna hurt your back, right? So if Gabby, if I drop something on the ground, Gabby goes to bend down, if she goes down straight, it's gonna hurt her back here. So instead, sit up, sit down in that butt, squat down and grab something. It could be every single day use of, of anything. You drop something on the ground, grab it. In the airport, grab it. You never know what you're gonna use a squat for, except for every movement of every single day. <laughs> so make sure you guys are listening because it's super important to develop your core muscles too. Next is the hip hinge. So a hip hinge, is like an RDL. So a Russian deadlift is scary, I know. But a, a, an RDL is really starts from the hip hinge. Hip hinge, straight back with your butt. So straight back with your butt is, hip, is hinging from that center point of your hip bones so that you can press back and then reach down towards your toes. And then what do you feel? Where do you feel it? Hamstrings, right? So that's what we're working on is the hamstrings and the butt, kind of that connection point so that when you come up, you're pulling back down and through. So anything that I'm doing when I'm bending over, if you happen to bend over to drop something, you're always gonna start with driving your hips back. So your butt drives back first, not your knees, right? So butt drives back and then you're sitting down into it. You can get into that in a squat too as well. So, but that hip hinge motion, even if it's just from here, it looks a little weird. I'm gonna have Gabby do it instead of me. <laughs> but it's really great to make sure that you know how to hinge from your hips and not from your knees. The next thing we're gonna do is a pulling motion. So we've got pulling and pushing. So since we started with squats and hip hinge, it's a great way to make sure that you stay in that position when you're pushing and when you're pulling. So especially when you've got your feet shoulder width apart, you're grounding down all of your toes, your entire foot. So a lot of times people start to get knee problems or hip problems because they lean out on their feet or they kind of come in on their legs and you start to develop muscles that overcompensate and pull your knees out or pull your knees in. So what we wanna do is make sure that you're grounding so when we are pushing something, either with our legs or our arms are pulling, that we're not pulling with the wrong parts of our body, we're actually focusing on our upper body and making sure that we've got a strong foundation in our core. So I, let's just start with a pulling motion first. So if I was to just stand here and pull, how would you pull me the hardest thing you do? Right? <laughs> Probably not like that, right? <laughs> exactly. So it's great. So you pull is, you wanna ground down, you wanna pull through. So when I'm pulling, see, so notice how she's straight, I'm here, I'm gonna pull her straight off. So you wanna stay where you're grounded down, now we can pull, right? So now we can pull against each other, and it's okay, and I can trust her, and I, she can trust me, and that way we know that we can pull against each other. If I was straight, I'd pull her straight off like I did last time. So I almost fell for <laughs> you real, gotta make sure I did. <laughs> when you're pulling and pushing, that you start with a solid foundation. You have that athletic stance, so if someone were to run at you, you'd be able to kind of get out of the way, always. Always wanna be light on your feet, light on your toes, but having your foot all the way on the ground. Counterintuitive, but think about light on your toes, but foot on the ground. It's how you make your body work for you better without having to do so much. Next, we're gonna do is a pulling motion. Same kind of thing, 
Great motion first, right? So we're starting in that squat, even the hip hinge a little bit here, and then we're pulling, pulling back and pulling a pencil and squeezing, move over here, a pencil between your shoulder blades right here. So you pinch that pencil as you're pulling, but notice if you guys are doing this motion, your rib cage is gonna open up, right? Your rib cage is gonna splay out. When it's splayed out, that's how it's gonna develop. So what we wanna do is close it down without, without rolling your shoulders down, right? So how do you close it down without rolling your shoulders? It's your hips. So you roll your hips under, pull back, able to tighten it down and pull it down inside. So you should be talking, walking around, being able to do, do these exercises, not punching people in the face while you're doing this. So it shouldn't be overly hard, but you should be pretty locked in as you pull here. Good. Now around. think about, yeah, think about rolling. If you roll your back, right, round your back out, you gonna be pulling all from your shoulders and your neck. So when you think about that, pull them back, chest up, shoulders back, create that nice separation and even can put a tennis ball underneath your neck to make sure that you stay in that position or your, or your fist. So maybe put your fist under here. It's like this. So it just stays right there and your neck is nice and neutral, okay? So now the last one is a vertical pushing motion or pressing. So, or pulling down, anything if you're, you know, like kind of putting something out of a cabinet, anything like that. So same, same positioning always, right? So if I do that, can't. She's there, she's already, she's already locked in. So pulling motion, that same thing. So we pushed, right? So we're pushing and pulling, same motion. So you pull and you kind of lock in that behind your shoulder blades. And as you push, close down the rib cage, pull and squeeze your chest together. Squeeze that chest together. So where do you feel it when you, when you squeeze? Right here. Straight in the in front. The chest, a little so bit in the biceps. Yeah, let's turn you here. So she's gonna pull back, squeezing the shoulder blades and then pushing forward and then meeting in the front, really squeezing here. But notice, solid in the foundation, not going anywhere, very athletic stance. So if all of a sudden I were to go, hey, she's not going anywhere, right? That's exactly how you guys should be, is not going anywhere. Or if you do, you need to, you just kind of, what, I'm right here. I'm paying attention, right? Your body is always active. So as you're pressing up now, so you're gonna come up, hands up, pressing, same, same kind of movement. Here, you're locked in, very good. So that was the difference. Let's turn you to the side. So do it where you are splayed out. So she's splayed here, and now she's gonna lock it down and in by rolling her tailbone under. So it's the, the exact right position. So again, she's splayed out, and then she comes in, locks it down and under. Good, and then she can press. So from there, you're really getting a full body movement. Even though we're doing vertical pressing, your legs are gonna get tired. It's not about the shaking hour. a little bit this <laughs> entire time of staying in that stance, that tension, movement with intention. My shake, my legs are movement shaking a little intention, bit. Yep. Right? And it's, it's about that, you know, we work out for an hour, maybe less, a day, and then what happens to the other hours? This happens to the other hours. If you can make your body a foundation that is strong and lean and flexible and always active and, and ready to move, then your life and your exercise will get easier and you'll be healthier and happier and all these things will start happening. But you've got to get the fundamental movement patterns down correctly so that your life can be better. You can so, even practice this when you're walking. Exactly. Instead of walking like this, tuck Just it in, yep. pull it down. Make sure that you do it with every, every movement, right? Every movement of your life. When you get up, when you brush your teeth, when you put something away, it doesn't matter. You're gonna move, you're gonna use these movements throughout your entire day. So. If you like this and you want more of it, make sure you comment down below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out all of our other videos. And let's give it up for Coach Gabby. Amazing. Amazing. Always. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Have a great one. We'll see you on the next one.